Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today is a huge day on the farm. We are planting 40 acres of trees today. That's 40, four zero acres of trees today. So I've got a little bit of work ahead of me. I've got to go mark off a spot that might be a little bit confusing to the guys that are gonna do the tree planting. And we'll just talk about what's going on here on the farm and the huge undertaking of planting these trees. So we'll talk about the cost, the type of trees, and we'll talk about the areas that we're gonna replant and show you the work crew as they replant the trees. So come along today, we got some work to do. We're gonna take these posts, mark off this little area. All right, let's go have some fun. Woo! Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. Hey guys, this is the forester calling us here. Hello. Can you hey, hear? Hey, Josh. Yeah, man. All right, gonna be at least a half hour. I don't know, maybe forty minutes. We're headed your way. They're way up in the country, guys, and their service is really bad. So where we've got to go, I'll show you. We've got to go up this little road here, and I put a pipe in the ground right here. There's a little creek. It's calling back. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll go to that big piece, and then you have that next piece that was up on the hill. Okay. Do you, do you still have some little pockets where you want trees, too? I'm um, just basically uh, the, the spot up on the hill and the little piece next to the house. Okay, let's go to the big piece. Down. We'll start down down on the main the main body across the farm. Okay, that sounds good. I'll be looking for you. All right. All right, bye-bye. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and start his tree planting on the other side of the farm, and we're going to go ahead and get over here, and we're going to mark this. And I'll take you up top here and explain to you what we're doing, and we'll also get some drone footage of all this later on, and I'll walk you through and talk you through as we're getting the drone footage so that you'll understand a little bit more of what's going on. The huge undertaking of cutting the trees here on the farm, we cut almost 100 acres. We're clearing somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 acres, and we're replanting somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 acres. Now, these are roundabout figures but pretty darn close to right on the money there. What we're going to do is go over here and we'll mark this area and we'll talk you through it. Basically the timber crew that came in and cut the trees provided us enough money to go ahead and clear off a lot of this land. Not quite enough money to clear it all off. And then the tree planting crew will come in here and we'll talk about finances and we'll talk about all that stuff. But first I got to get busy. They'll be here in like a half hour and I got about 15-20 minutes worth of work to do. So I got to get busy here. So you can see this area is really, really rough here. And it's not usable really for, uh, for anything other than timber. So we'll put trees in here and we'll have a little road that goes through here. And we may end up moving that road at some point. It's just a mess right now. So what you guys need to know here is we're in an area that's been cleared and I'll kind of do a panorama. I'll spin around here. So down the hill, all this will be cleared to pasture. All of it will be taken back to field. That's probably another 30 acres of pasture land right there. Back here on the top of the hill is probably about three acres of just rocky, rough terrain that you really can't do anything with. Now, down below, we left some white oaks and hickories and several trees that are just good for the wildlife. And you can see there's a white oak. And if you look down in here, the trees that you see left behind are the white oaks and the hickories. We'll have the drone over very soon and you'll be able to see that stuff as the planting crew is planting. I'm gonna zoom around and check the planting crew with the drone pretty much the whole time we're doing this, okay? So we'll get lots of cool drone footage and I'll talk you through the things that I'm flying over and what's going on. It's hard for me to show you how steep this is in a camera, but I'm standing straight up and this hill just shoots right up right here. And if you look, I'm gonna just keep the camera level and turn. So you see there's no land It all goes off down in a gully. So this entire area right here will be planted pretty much to that oak tree. And then we'll mark a line right across here. Everything on this side gets planted, everything on that side doesn't. Now, something that I've learned in the past is make things idiot proof, okay? In other words, I'm not saying these guys are idiots, they're smart people, but they don't know exactly the way I want my trees planted and I've got to make it so they know. So the lines of communication are very, very clear. So we're gonna walk straight down here. We're gonna put a stake in the ground. We're gonna tie some ribbon around that stake and we're gonna run a ribbon all the way across right down through here so that they know exactly where to plant. So let's get busy. Whew. 
that's a steep hill. So let me show you what we've got here. Okay, so if you look down here, you can see this yellow ribbon that goes off to the side right here, and then it continues off this way. So basically, everything behind you gets planted, everything down this way, turns into pasture and you'll see it better when I fly over it. So guys, what you see here is cleared. It looks like a war zone, but what you don't see is in about two or three months, this will all be grown up so thick that you can't even walk through here. So we've got to get our pine trees planted as soon as possible. And these are the loblolly pine trees. We'll be able to reharvest these trees in about 25 to 30 years and replant once again. And this is part of our retirement plan here on the farm. So if you've got a farm and you've got some land, the responsible thing to do is manage your forest. The responsible thing to do is manage your finances. And this is going to be part of our retirement. Now, guys, I didn't just dream this up. I didn't just think of this. I didn't just say, hey, let's take this piece of land and put some pine trees on it, man. Be cool. No, this is very planned. This is very well planned out. I had the forestry service come in. They wrote me a forestry plan. The trees to plant around here recommended are loblolly pine trees so that I get a harvest in my lifetime. Now I could plant oak trees and my great 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 grandkids could harvest them or I could plant something like walnut which my great great grandkids would be able to harvest. It's all about being able to harvest it at least one more time in your lifetime and if you want to think about how your life is short Think about it in the lifespan of a tree. Maybe you'll get three cuttings, maybe three cuttings in your adult life if you started doing this when you were 20 years old. I'm 40 years old. I might get one more cutting, I might get two. Depends on how well I take care of myself and genetics and tree genetics. All right, folks, so the tree planting crew is already here and man, they're moving so fast. They've planted in an hour and 10 minutes, they planted 25 acres of trees. It's absolutely amazing. I wanna get you some footage of the tools that they use to plant the trees and what the seedlings look like. Just FYI, folks, all these folks are legal and they're migrant workers and every bit of this is legal just so everyone knows okay well, folks these guys are already working up here and they're busting their butts they planted 25 acres in about an hour and 10 minutes i am having to run to keep up with them it's insane how fast they're going but we'll show you some of the trees that they're planting and some of the tools that they use to plant the trees it's really really cool So the way this works is these guys roll through here, they drop a tree in every eight feet and the rows are 10 feet wide and they just move. They planted over 4,000 acres of trees so far this year in the last two months. Absolutely amazing. These guys move. You wanna talk about beating heart disease, right there's a way to beat heart disease. Just keep on moving and digging and planting trees. I can imagine how bad my back would hurt and how good a cold adult glass of milk would taste at the end of the night. They tend to have fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> These guys are having fun. You know when they're not having fun, they're getting too tired to work. So, man, that, it's just hard work. It's amazing how fast they move. It's unbelievable, guys. If you have this done on your place. They're professionals at what they do. Yeah. You know, um, we do it. We do it. Everybody's well trained and, and because it's physical manual labor, it doesn't mean they're a professional at what they do. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just about to plant the spot that we started at. So folks, in case you're wondering what we're planting, these are bare root loblolly pine seedlings, okay? And these are seedlings about a year old. We'll put these in the ground. Now this year, they'll probably grow to about two and a half feet tall. Next year, they'll be about this tall. And then the year after, they'll be over my head. And then subsequent years, they'll just keep growing and growing. They're a very fast growing tree. And that's why we chose this very fast growing tree so we can harvest it quicker. Oh, 
So they're going through the trees right here and they're sorting them and putting them into bags. These are special bags that are used for planting trees. They're pretty cool. And all these tools are specialty tools that are used just for planting trees. I'll show you one of the tools really close. So this is a tree planting spade. Is that what it's called? Podad. Podad? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is called a podad. Okay. Oh, oh. Like dad. Yep. Ho oh, dad, okay. <laughs> this is called, <laughs> the whole family knows now. This is called a ho dad and they stab it in the ground, wedge open a spot and drop the little tree in and then step on the spot and that packs the tree in, gets it ready to plant. Okay, so what you're seeing here is the crew working on the other side of the farm opposite of where we were just showing. These guys are walking with their spades and basically stabbing them in the ground tipping the soil back they'll drop a tree in the hole and then you'll see them pack it down with their foot pretty interesting we weren't able to get an interview with the owner of this particular tree planting business they were just so busy they had to go to another place after they left our farm and plant another 15 acres you can see right here this is some debris that fell from the neighbor's property onto our property due to a snowstorm so these big old pine trees around here they're called Virginia pines and they just like to topple over in any kind of snow load they kind of hold each other up and this guy here we're just getting a good perspective of uh, how they work and what they do here and basically he's just stabbing that thing in the ground and sticking a tree in and going every eight feet or so and stabbing it in the ground. I took this shot just to give you some perspective as to the size of this area right here. We're probably in about a 25 to 30 acre little spot right here so you can get a good perspective of it. This is basically the northernmost point of our farm and what you see that's already in trees like what's behind us um, or what was behind us is other people's property. Now we're down on the creek line and this guy found a soccer ball. It was pretty funny. He kicked that soccer ball all the way up in the air. But this is our biggest uh, creek or one of our biggest creeks. We have seven creeks here on the farm. So I thought I'd get an interesting perspective up here. The uh, cost of this is about $90 per acre and there's about 540 trees per acre. today we'll be planting somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 acres so it's quite a expense to get this done but it's what we have to do to keep the farm up and running and an investment for our retirement so guys I want to take the time to thank you a whole lot for coming here to the Stony Ridge farm today I hope you've learned a little something a little behind the scenes and please click that like button give me some thumbs up let me know what you're thinking leave some comments down there I'd love to hear from you. Please uh, help support the channel. Click that like button. Give that thumbs up. And if you guys would like a Stony Ridge Farmer t-shirt, there'll be links down in the video description. Okay? So thanks a lot. I hope you've learned a lot here on the Stony Ridge Farm today. And we'll see you next time. All right. <laughs> We're all going up to plant trees, man. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hey, happy, happy. Hey, folks, it's... And... Uh... uh...